Welcome to my presentation on ChipPath. So just a little bit about me. I have uh, 10 years experience working in the process development uh, industry and doing some advanced analytics and PCBs, medical devices, polymers, and then more importantly, semiconductors. Also been doing a lot of data science, machine learning in those different uh, industries. Currently, I'm an AI engineer and I'm working right now uh, as part of a board member for the Semiconductor Employee Advisory Board for the Semiconductor Foundation. So as you guys all know, AI is huge. You know, it's part of the world now. We don't go a day without hearing something about AI. But without any semiconductor chips, we have no AI to run on. So, you know, uh, NVIDIA is booming right now with their high demand for GPUs to run all our AI applications in the world. So what's the future of semi in the U.S.? So as AI has been booming, a lot of companies have been putting in a lot of money into creating new fabrication shops in the United States. So T TI, TSMC, Samsung are pouring in billions of dollars to get these fabrication shops up and running in the next you know, two to five years, creating over 400,000 jobs. The problem is, can the US deliver on the workforce? You know, do we have enough skilled workers, you know, scientists, chemists, material engineers, physicists to design and fabricate these, you know, very complex systems to run our world in the near future. So the big problem too is again, skilled worker demand. There's not enough trained workers. There's not enough people that know about the semiconductor industry. So they don't even know, you know, what jobs are available. What is a semiconductor industry? Um, production of semi, only 10% of all semiconductor production is done in the U.S., Everything else is done, you know, mostly in Asia, you know, I think it's 80% and then 10% kind of maybe in Europe. So this uh, is kind of a bad uh, site for our industry, for our economy, all those jobs that we're losing. And then lastly, national security. You know, all these chips that are in our devices, running our life every day, we're querying, we're asking questions, and knows, you know, what we're doing in our daily life, all our data. It's all being produced elsewhere, and we're not 100% sure of, you know, what could be going on within the devices. So, again, big risk to security. So, the industry outlook is very positive, again, thanks to AI. You know, we have 1.1 million jobs in semiconductors today, but many are unfilled. Uh, as of now, it's like a $700 billion industry, and that's growing, you know, in the billions every day. And then lastly... 300 billion has already been poured into this economy industry by, you know, U.S. and, and uh, private uh, companies as well. So, as I mentioned, Samsung, they're pouring in billions, Intel, they're pouring in billions, and, you know, companies are really uh, taking a big investment on this. So, the industry is booming, the outlook is great. But we have one problem, you know, we have 1.4 potential jobs in the semiconductor industry that could go unfilled in 2030. So this will be a, a big, you know, um, blow to the economy, to, you know, people trying to make some money and also just, you know, having our semiconductor chips, you know, being produced elsewhere. So how do we solve this and, you know, get this number down uh, lower, down to zero? So some of the solutions, you know, I've worked at the Semi Foundation and the Chips for America Act are pouring in, you know, I think over 50 billion so far in the last two years to get people educated on semiconductor industry, like what's out there, what kind of jobs are out there, what training is out there that I could, you know, uh, put myself into this industry. So really it's all about, you know, providing resources about the semi industry, training people and educating them on the new technologies and tools that are out there and you know, informing them, you know, what type of jobs are out there. It's not all about bunny suits. It's not all about manufacturing. There's design, there's, you know, there's a fabrication, there's even the marketing side of semi. So it's a very big industry with uh, lots of uh, turning points in there. And then lastly, networking. So we're just getting in touch with people that are actually in the field, talking to them about their job, you know, what type of impact they do, you know, how did they get there? How did they like their, you know, work-life balance? It's, you know, kind of all about uh, this discovery. So uh, part of the solution too, I've created this application called ChipPath, and it's pretty much all about helping students or even professionals about you know 
finding some type of career in the swimming industry. So again, there's like, there's three parts to this application. The first part is a resume analysis. So you could upload your resume. It will analyze the, the skills, education levels, location, uh, you know, titles of your resume. And then it will use a search function to look for semi jobs out there that you could apply for. And then the second part is just the outlook of the industry. So I have all the, the 2024 outlook reports for semiconductor there, you know, every big company and the chips act, they publish every year. So it has the most recent up-to-date data on the industry. So you could actually talk to it and ask, you know, how is the industry looking? What's the outlook? You know, as of now, it's always kind of gradually going up, but it's going to be hitting a tipping point where it's going to, you know, kind of skyrocket later on. And then lastly, it's just all about career discovery. So if you're interested in some type of job, you know, you've heard about process engineering, you know, etching a semiconductor equipment, uh, you could ask it in a particular job and it will give you information on that job. You know, what education requirements are are needed, you know, what's the outlook what companies are hiring and, and so forth. So again, it's all about giving information about the semiconductor industry and, you know, getting people really excited about it. You know, it's, it's about AI, it's about physical hardware as well, but there's a nice uh, feature in this, um, in this industry. So for the architecture, I use Streamlit as my user interface, uh, Quadrant and the Vector Store and open AI for my LLM and the embedding model I use a small uh, text embedding. And then for my agents, I use LangGraph to create my workflow. And then Tavoli is my web search application uh, uh, API. So here's just a little bit more on detail on my supervisor agent graph. So I have my job researcher, which you know just does a, a quick job search online and gives you information about that career. Uh, RAG Semi is looks at your um, the outlook reports for the semiconductor industry for up to date information. RAG Resume uh, dissects your resume, and then uses a Tavoli search job searcher here agent to look for specific jobs that kind of match up to your resume to find you a job in the in the semi industry. I'll do a quick demo of recording. So here I'm uploading a resume. It's going to go through the search, going to break it apart and look at the skills, look at your, your experience, your history, education, and then it's going to match it up with some jobs online. There we go. So there's a summary about the software engineer. Got the skills, education level, experience, what potential jobs. Sorry. Oops, sorry. Here we go. Here's the jobs. They're very specific to the actual resume. And then next, I'm going to ask another question. This is more very specific on the specific job in the semi industry, lithography engineer. So this is more on the manufacturing side, uh, developing imaging on a semiconductor uh, chip. So again, I really focus on something that's very specific on the process side. So it has responsibilities, required skills, career path, and then the market outlook for the job. And then lastly, I kind of just want to, you know, I'm curious about the CHIPS Act and, you know, how it's affecting the semiconductor industry. So again, this is coming from 2024 documentation. Then it should be up right now. There we go. To have a full little quick summary of the chip tax impact on the industry. All from the reporting as well. And then some future improvements. I want to uh, connect this to an actual semiconductor 
a uh, job database. You know, there's a lot of companies out there that have stuff, especially the semi foundation. I want to fine tune the model. I want it to act more like a job counselor in a way. So I'm putting some type of that, some type, some type of behavior to, to act like a counselor, understand all the jargon and the industry as well. Implement some Linksmith and Ragas for evaluation. And then lastly, I want to implement some, uh, implement this to Chainlit. I think it has a better UX design for this type of conversational application. And then later in a few weeks or a month or so, I'm actually going to pitch this to the Semi Foundation to put this on their network. So, you know, crossing my fingers on this and we'll go from there. So yeah, so thank you, everyone. Um, that's it.